Today I'm going to be showing guys how you make the edit by intro like the dive B in DaVinci Resolve. So, first off, you want to make sure you have the timeline set 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS so then it's smooth. Uh, I'm going to have a download link to all of this, not the toad, but I just put a random uh, PNG of Itachi or. Uh, a person from Naruto. Um, so first off, you just want to drag this into your timeline. So see, it's uh, just the red cloud. Uh, you want to make it smaller. Actually, you want to go to your generators and then go to solid color. Drag that in, and then change the color to green. So then you can see the background better. So, once you think it's about a good size, you can press this button right here. And you can drag it to the side. Just like that. And then now you just want to make a copy of it. So hold Alt and then drag the image up. And then you just want to make the Y uh, X position. So then it will be like match like that. Make a little shorter. I think about half the screen. That's about good. So then now you can just uh make that into a new compound clip. Just put new background. Um, next, just drag in your image, or whatever you're gonna use. Um, so you just shorten it, or make it smaller, and you can reposition it, wherever you want. And yep, that's pretty much it for that part. You make it smaller by using, oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, you had to have the inspector open, too, and then you can just move it. Get it move smaller or bigger, whichever you need to do. Um, yeah, you have to be clicked on this though. And then next, uh, we'll have the scroll that brings it out. This part, uh, I, I tried, I couldn't find it, but then I f eventually found it. But you have to have this, and then you just make the rotation angle at negative 90. Yeah, negative 90, and then you just bring down the size. I think that's about good. And then if you want to change it a little bit, make it a little bit more red, you can just go into the color tab. I'm clicking on it, and then you can just make, you can adjust these settings. Also, adjust these settings to make it a little bit more red. Stuff like that. No, you can just adjust it however you want. Oh. Okay, next up, you're going to need the text. Actually, we're just going to make a fusion composition. It's probably easier to customize it. So, go into Fusion, just gotta load, um, and then type in just text, or you can just drag this in. You can type in text there, or you can just drag this in right here. Just connect it to media out. Type in edited, oh, for, edited by, okay, and then go into cool, find the cool Velka font. Or whatever you're gonna use, and then you can change the style. I just like it regular, and then you can adjust the settings a bit. And now you want to add drop shadow. You can do S underscore drop shadow, or you can just use drop shadow. Now let's do drop shadow for the sake of this video, because I don't think everyone has Sapphire. And then you can just adjust. You can copy my settings. Why not this? Just keep it like there. You know the Capix accent, you can just play around with these, but. Blur. I think. That's about good, and then. The, you can just keep it on whenever it drops this, then. 
think that's about good. Um, yeah. And then go into here. Just drag it on. And then you can adjust the size here too. The text on here. The size is a little bit smaller. And then rotate it. You can rotate it by holding this red circle right here. And then I think that's about good. I think we should change the drop shot a bit. Um, the blur. I think that's about good. Um, but then you just wanna do Alt and drag up, and go into the here, drag it down below, and then you just gotta type your at. Uh, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but just do at. Totally one X. Oh, that's good. Just go back here. Adjust it where you want it. You can also adjust this one. Like that. And then for the totally part, um, or whatever your name is, uh, we're just gonna uh, make. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Fusion composition. You just go into effects, and then you can just drag it on. I have it started, but. Yeah, and then you can just drag another fusion comp over it. And then next, you just go into fusion. Takes a bit. Make sure to press save it because it might uh, crash because the entry crashes. Just press control S on your keyboard. Put another text. And then you just want to add it. And then uh, just type in your name and mine. Totally, obviously. Uh, and then there's a really cool font called Ninja Naruto. Um, somewhere here. It looks pretty cool. And then you're just gonna add Drop Shadow. And then you can just. Doesn't really matter to the settings. I think that's good. Color, you can change it whatever you want. Uh, I. I Think S underscore drop shadow or sapphire drop shadow is better, but if you most people don't have plugins, so and then you just want to adjust it here and then you want to rotate it a bit. So click on the text, just rotate it a bit. I think it's a little bit more rotation. Click on again, nope, that's not it. Okay. And yeah, that's about good. And so far we just have this, but to make an anime, obviously, uh, you want to hold control, click on everything except for the uh, scroll image. And then just click everything except for the scroll image because you don't want it to become your compound. But you compound clip, just put whatever you want. Doesn't matter. And then now this is just separated so you can move it around but for the animated part basically for the first uh it depends on how long you want it I think four seconds about good so hold shift and one on the keyboard it's default five seconds so you just drag it over here just like that and then you want to key you want to first frame you want to actually this is probably easier. Just go to X position and then drag it because then you don't have to mess up the Y. And then you just want to keyframe that and then go about like f one second and then go like 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. And after you've done that, you're just going to drag uh, the X all the way here. So it looks something like this. It's, it's loading, but also, also if it's lagging, uh, you can just make this court resolution. Okay, and then after that, I want to go about about thirty frames. I think that's. 30 frames is good. Keyframe it. Edit it. 
got it end position and then just move it back so it looks something like this it's a bit laggy but and then now obviously you have to add, animate this part this is just all alone um so now you just want to crop let oh no, crop right let's crop all the way and then go about five frames uh you have to keyframe it one two three four five or however much it pops out and then you can just drag it and then just keep going frames so i like about three to four frames and it uh, looks pretty good For the sake of this video, not to make it not that long, I'm just gonna speed it up and do like more than five frames. But you should do like three or four, so then it looks nice. Keep moving it. Uh, also, to move one frame, if you didn't know, it's just press your arrow keys. Let's keep going. It's helpful to have this white uh, clicking this thing so you can see exactly where the line is. Thanks. Okay, and then go to the end, go to the right before the frame starts to move out. So, okay, about there, go back to the or. Select this and then keyframe it, and then you just start doing the process again. The back part is faster, so then you just want to click keyframes about uh, three times. So, one, two, three. Move it back. One, two, three. And just repeat it. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see here. Um, if you want to kind of like pre-render it, kind of go here and then playback. Press Smart and then and it kind of like renders. Uh, I'll just wait until it's done. You can just keep press this to just keep cycling it. Yeah, I think that looks about good. It just drags out and then just moves back in. Okay, and then for the last part here, when you export it, you're just gonna delete the solid color and then just drag that down like that. And then you can make all of this into a new compound clip. Uh, I'm just not gonna do it for the sake just to show later but uh you guys can make it into a new compound clip i mean either you can just export it or just drag that compound clip onto a different video or you can just go deliver here and then you can copy these, some of these things uh -huh. before and then strict um and then add to render queue Oh, yeah. I also have to save it. You can just save it wherever you want. I'm just gonna say blah, blah blah. You can just put whatever you want, and then save. And then here you just press render all. I don't need to do it because uh, I don't use it anymore. But you can just press render all, and then it renders out, and then you can just drag it out to any of your other, I don't know, of your videos. So then it's edited by intro, obviously. So. Uh, and then if you want to drag onto a clip, here, let me get a clip, random one, 
it's going to I'm dragging a random one here. Okay. Alright. Charge. I should check actually. I should check what, check what, okay. If it doesn't look like this and it's just black, then, uh, go to here, composite mode, and then... Okay. Sorry, just press alpha here to make the background clear. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys do have any questions, DM me on Discord or Twitter or Instagram. Uh, I don't check Instagram that much, but you can also DM me. I check like like once a day, maybe like yeah, like once a day. So you can DM me. My socials will be in the description. So if you guys want to DM me, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.